in, in some level, right, that pharmaceutical companies need to pay for research and development. But it is a fundamental fallacy uh, of the industry, of the pharmaceutical industry, that there's any direct connection between the cost of research and development for a particular product and its price. Um, I've sat in numerous you know, pricing committee discussions, launching products. Not once, not once did anyone say, how much do we spend on R&D for this product? Um, it really was, what would the market bear? Um, what is out there from a competitive landscape, if there is anything? Um, and how much can we charge in that regard? And so you know, that's one of the big problems. And there have been some recent studies that look at the overall cost of research and development. Right, and there's the sort of pharma aggregate number where they fold in every single product, every single cost, um, and come up with a very inflated number of, say, you know, about $2 billion to you know, bring a new drug to market. There was a recent study that came out that said it's a lot lower than that, probably a couple hundred million. That's not to say that we want to uh, uh, get, it, get, it, uh, get these products out there more efficiently, but it's not $2 billion to bring every product to market.